Hello everybody, and this is Simon from Val. And for today, I just wanted to show off um, big picture mode and how you can use it, and how you can adjust all your um, games to kind of work properly with it. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. So to enable big picture mode, uh, what you need to do is you need to go into the Steam menu, click on Settings. And over here, you should have like one beta available. Uh, I'm already in this beta. You just click change and enable the Steam beta update. And then once you restart, it should show up here. So to simply start it, all you have to do is click big picture. And that just looks awesome. Now, the big picture interface is um, designed to be used with a controller, uh, mainly those that use X input, which is the standard used for Windows 7, with the, win uh, the big one it, that people will probably most likely have is the Xbox 360 controller. They use X input. Um, so, okay, so here's the main UI you'll have, and we have three tabs, we've got the store, we've got our library, and we've got the community, which is, at the moment, just friends list. So, um, what I can do, also, is I can use the um, left and right triggers to head to a web browser, for example, so, hey, let's go to place and to control it, this web browser you basically just use your uh, left thumbstick to, to move around, you can use the right trigger uh, to kind of zoom in. It doesn't look that, it doesn't work that well if you use the if you use the right trigger. You can also just use the Y button to zoom in. And this is the input interface that you uh, that you can use with a controller. It's called the uh, Daisy Wheel, I believe it's called. Um, so, for example, I'm just going to go to our website. We are the layabouts. Basically, what you do is you left use the you use the left thumbstick to, to to go to a corner, and then you use the the buttons to select. To select the button that you want to, um, the key that you want to press. Oh, and you can see all the controls right there. It's a little bit weird, but then again, I guess it is something that um, people need to get used to. All right, and but it does it does work. I think it kind of works. <laughs> um, okay, so then, and if you want to select links, let, uh, let's say, for example, I want to watch my latest Portal episode, except this isn't actually the latest one, I need to, it's a, uh, Flash does work, um, I haven't actually tried it. Uh, so this is actually a first for me. Um, I've heard that you probably hey guys, should... just a quick note, I uh, kind of messed up, there's no game audio. Uh, it is sort of laggy apparently. Um, but I mean, I guess they'll improve it before as, as they work on it. But yeah, that's um... So that's the web browser. Oh, and I... I guess it redraws the view sometimes as well, or something. That's not something that you really should worry about. Anyway, um, so let's go into the library. By default, it shows you your recently played games. Um, that suddenly showed up because I just uh, installed, uh, finished the download. But yeah, it'll show all the games that you've played recently in the past, however long, I guess. I don't know how long that is. And then 
you could press down and go to view all games, it shows them in a grid view, like so. And I haven't tried, although I'll probably add it as an addendum. But I think that you might be able to launch custom games from here as well. Again, I'll just have to see. And it has to re-download all the logos for whatever reason. So uh, that's the library, and then the store has its own little view. I guess this is all the featured stuff, maybe. Um, there's a little something there, which I, yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be there, <laughs> but it loops around as you can see. Um, I suppose if I l stay on this screen f for a little bit, it'll load up information about the game. But I haven't been in the store view uh, very much, and I suppose that maybe they're still working on it. Uh, and then, of course, you can use the, the daisy wheel again to, to search. Um, community, as I said before, is mainly just um, a friends list at the moment. Maybe I'll include some other stuff, um, like viewing other people's screenshots and maybe integrating the um, the new Steam community into this thing. And then if you press the right trigger you get to this thing which is a, which is basically, you know, your, your friends list. Um, so let's say I'm gonna send a message to this guy. I'm gonna say uh, blah blah blah, playing with big picture. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, of course. Anytime you're in this mode, you can just switch to using the keyboard and mouse again. And, um, and yeah, you can use, you can just switch to using it at um, this at any time. Like, I can use the scroll wheel here. I can scroll more to, to scroll more on the list if I ever want to. Um, the tabs are still there. I can switch straight to the library and all that. Alright, but that's that's Steam itself. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to launch up uh, Just Cause 2, which you'll immediately notice isn't um, quite set up for the big picture yet. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do is um, basically what we need to do is just make it launch in uh, full screen mode. Here we go. And that's literally all it is. So, okay, so let's say, okay, uh, I'm done playing with that so I'm just going to quit the windows. And there's big picture again. It does have a lot of potential. You do need to set up your games if you if you don't want to look at this all the time. Um, although that isn't the only like big picture doesn't end at the game. Like it doesn't end when you when you uh, launch a game. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load up TF2 here. As you can see, big picture is still in the background. Um, and in fact, if I looked over the Steam windows here, you can see I can also just use the regular the chat with my friend here. All right. But, okay, so I'm in a game and, you know, I want to try some stuff. I can still use Shift-Tab as normal and it brings up the new view, which is actually really neat. 
Um, or I can actually press the uh, the guide button, uh, as people will know it on Xbox 360 controllers, to do the same thing. And to take a screenshot uh, of anything, uh, by default button you press both the guide key and the right trigger, like so. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's about everything that I can talk about, um, or at least that I can think of. Um, it should be interesting to see what Valve do with it in the future. I'm definitely excited. Um, I definitely love to use this on our big TV at home. Um, but anyway, so this is uh, this is new area and. I've been showing you the uh, Steam big picture mode. Uh, keep an eye out for a finalized version soon, I guess. Oh, um, just one last thing. If you do want to get out of uh, big picture mode, all you need to do is click exit here. And it'll take you right back to the main UI. Thanks, Steam. Thanks, Valve. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, again, see you guys next time.